Welcome to Bitfumes and let's get started with intervention image package for image manipulation in PHP and Laravel. So let's quickly go into the installation part and require it using Composer. Here is a fresh installation of Laravel and I will say Composer then require intervention package. While this package is installing here on our Laravel, let's talk more about this package. So this package is a great tool and it uses a GD library for PHP. So if you have ever used GD library, it is not a good task to work upon that. But this package, this intervention package makes everything so easy that you are going to love this package. Why? Because there are tons of functions you can use, you can manipulate your image whatever way you want. And not only this, we will see in the next two episodes that if you want to apply a certain set of manipulations, like you want some grayscale, then you want brightness, then you want cropping and you can create your own filter which can do all these three steps in one. So this we will see in the next episode and later we will see that if some images taking more time you can cache these images and return the previously manipulated image. But now this package is installed. So let's see how to use this package actually. So here I am using this Laravel. So inside this public directory, I don't have any image. And this is a Tesla car image and it's a big image. So if I open the server, so by the way, I'm using PS, it's just alias for PHP artisan serve. You can find my uh, alias on gist.github.com slash sarthaksevi okay so here we are on localhost 8000 slash tesla.jpg hmm. so this is a big image you can see and one day i'm going to buy it and because this is so big car i want to crop it first so how do i do that so it's very easy with this package you need to use the facade then you need to say make and the address of your image and then you can do all the steps written on this api section so let's quickly do that so i will open my web.php file inside that i will firstly delete this uh, doc box and then i will say my image is going to image but if i see that there is no facade like that because uh, if you go on this basic usage you will find that they are actually using this kind of alias for a facade which is actually called image manage static so i can use image manage static like this it is imported intervention image image manage manager static then i will make the file from my public directory and because it is in public directory i don't have to define public so i can simply say tesla.jpg and then i can say image and i want to resize it as i told you it's so big so either we can use crop so let's search for crop so here we have the cropping system and we can define the width height x and y so just say width and height so i want to make it like crop of 100 as width and giving height as 100 also maybe we can say 400 cross 400 then it will be good and then i want to save this file so yes we know this intervention is super cool so i have a save function also so on this save function we just need to give the parameter like path and the quality so we have this big image and i have cropped it to 400 cross 400 then i want to save this to tesla1.jpg and maybe i can change the extension while saving and giving the quality as just five it is very poor so you can see it's given here zero means very poor and 100 means best quality cool so i will go to laravel 8000 it's not returning anything but it has processed the image this means inside public directory we have tesla 1.0 png remember the png it is now cropped to 400 cross 400 from the center but suppose you don't want to crop it you want to fit the image inside this 400 cross 400 that means you just want to reduce this image and fit it inside 400 cross 400 so yes we have a fit method <laughs> okay fit function fit method whatever you want to call so you just need to say width it is required but optional is height okay so this means i just need to say 
fit it inside 400 so just 400 this means if i refresh here it has processed with fit and now image is now fitted inside 400 of width that's very nice what you can do next you can see that i have a grayscale so grayscale is like grey so grayscale is here you can say i want to make sure uh, my my image is now grayscaled so then you can say my image make it grayscale next we just need to process it process and now image is grayscaled so we have done fitted and then grayscale and then saved suppose you don't want to see this image one by one by one so what you can do instead of saving you can just say response with the image so response and if you don't know the actual uh, function you can just search here like this and you can see we say format you can define the format and just like this so i'm going to return it as a response but with a png format refresh this page and we need to actually return this refresh and now it is returned 400 by 400 gray scaled fitted to uh, 400 actually okay what next you can do you can do various things like you can also make the image blurry so i want to make it fit into 1024 and then i want to make it blur of 10 value okay so what are the value ratio for the the blurring so zero means poor quality and 100 means the best quality so refresh this page 1024 fitting and blur and grayscaled so there are lots and lots of functions you can try upon but you have seen that i have used these image variable many times but as we are on laravel we can chain everything just like here and removing from here so i'm making an image i'm fitting it to 1024 blurring it gray scaled then response simply do all these things and it will going to work as it was before so you can see it is now done but as i told you in the starting of the image there are two problem one is every time i refresh the page it is processing the image for the same set of filters Hmm, this is not good and if i want to do this filtering for many routes i need to write these things again and again and again so in the next episode we are going to create a new filter which is going to use set of filtering like these three in one filter and then use that filter to manipulate the image and in the third episode we will see how we can cache the response of the image manipulation from this image intervention and we don't have to wait for the processing of the image so this package is super cool and thanks to the creator of this package and if you like this episode give it a thumbs up go and give hit thumbs up it's a mandatory thing second mandatory thing is go hit that subscribe button because if you do these two things you will not going to miss any cool packages and libraries of laravel php so if you like this episode share with your friends and don't forget to follow bitfilms on facebook twitter instagram linkedin and we will meet in the next episode to talk about the filters Bye bye